Hello everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Mini Shoot Adventures. I believe this is episode 4. Um, let's get back in the game. So, this one. I also wanted to say, I, um... I noticed something a little bit weird with the sound of the episodes. Uh, I think I was saving for... I think I was saving for either damage, fire range, or or super shot. I probably super shot because it's only five. I think I'll save up for that. But yes, uh, as I did the editing of the videos, I realized for some reason, despite me not changing any of my settings and going through the same edit process, they came out a lot quieter than usual. The first three videos, I don't know for these ones because I did not edit them yet. Uh, and I went back to look at my um, Little Kitty Big City videos and they also were much more quiet than usual and I am unsure why. Uh, so I did a little bit of extra editing and I will be re-uploading all of my Little Kitty Big City videos. Uh, for those ones, the mini shoot ones. I already did the extra editing before I put them on, so if you've watched it on YouTube, uh, you have the correct version already. Uh, but yeah, I will be re-uploading the other playthrough during this weekend. Now, I think I did the, um, yeah, I did the second dungeon last time and now I have to do the third dungeon. You know, what I think that I'll be doing is I'll try to get to the all of the major abilities and once I have all of them uh, then I will explore and go a little bit everywhere uh, so for now I'll just make my way towards the third dungeon get back into it slowly Pretty sure it's this way. Oh, yeah, the map radar is, uh, but anyway, let's go this way for now. Oh wait, I think we already went that way. That's fine, I, I have to get back into it. Uh, I haven't played in a week. Pretty much since the last recording session. Still people. Sometimes these trees can be destroyed, so I'm just gonna check them real quick. Not these ones, I guess. Oh, they did that. And I'm just back here. Um, huh. Where am I supposed to go already? I guess I was not supposed to go this way and I don't have the map. But it looks like if I kept going to the right there was another, another path so I might have to go that other way around. Let's keep going to the right for now. 
It's not open. Um, let's go this way then. I already got whatever was here. That's okay. I think... Okay, I think I know where I'm supposed to go. Grab the heal while I'm here. That other bush. All right, this cave leads. I don't remember exactly. Can I even go in there? No, I cannot. But I have to go to the right from here, I think. There we go. Or not, maybe. This is this one place. Let's go over there. I know there's also something down here, so let's let's go do this. All right, so um, here, this is a bus. There are also, oh well, I guess the game was expecting me to do that earlier, but there are also overworld bosses, um, which you can encounter. I think it might be in there. Which exit is that? This one, okay. I think there's another exit to this cave. Oh, I didn't actually come in here at all. Having played this game already, sometimes I just don't remember what I did or didn't in this specific playthrough. This is a race, actually. Since this is a race, let's go with these.
This race wasn't that bad. I think the game was expecting me to explore these parts earlier, to get stuck and to go back the other way around. Since I knew where to go, uh, I'm a little higher level than the game would like me to be at this moment. And the shortcut. Also, oh, did I complete everything in this grotto? I did. Can we go this way? There's a piece of map somewhere nearby. going back yeah this is going back towards the village I want to I, I want to wait to have enough gears to buy the next gun upgrade I think is my next priority The name of those enemies, the ones that jump, uh, are Tektites, because they act like Tektites in Zelda. Uh, can I even grab that? Yes. I'll fall in the water for it, but I got it at least.
Okay, that's where I have to get ultimately. But I need to light the torches, like the one that's just below me first. all the wrong buttons. Okay. Uh, so when you're boosting, those little blue flowers give you extra boost juice, so you can keep boosting. So it's important to try to collect them as you as you race. Otherwise, you're gonna fall short in boosts, and you won't be able to keep boosting. Just that though? Well, I, I guess it is. Alright, I'll go up and left. There was something up here. Here. So, I believe it's the first time we see a purple enemy. Uh, these black bullets that they shoot um, deal double damage. They do two hearts of damage instead of just one. Okay. Map, I take it. Let me just have a quick look, because it's not the first time that I see this. Can I see the message that got banned? Well, I don't really know how to if it's a possibility, and I, uh, I'm i not sure why these peop the people are getting banned. Uh, but this bot that I installed is supposed to prevent other robots from coming and spamming messages and all that, and it says that it recognize it as being a spam, so... Uh, I'm gonna trust in the robot. Increase the chance to drop life hearts from enemies. Okay, this I will take. Uh, I wanted to save for the, the upgrade, but I'll take this. And I don't want to have to remember to come back here, so I'll grab the lore as well. I don't have any gears anymore at all, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. But I don't want to have to remember to come back here. Although, it would show on the map that I did not complete... Uh, this cave, so I guess I would know that I have to come back.
All right, that's another one. There we go. Sorry, this game does require me to focus when there's big enemies shooting a lot of bullets like this. So that was for a piece of heart. You can see that there's a path on the right though. That damn... Um, bamboo? I I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but it's getting in the way. It's this this place. So yeah, it's this one. So I'm only missing one of the torches. Sorry, just made sure that I add my timer still going so I know when uh, this episode is, uh, over. Big purple. Oh. All right, the big one is gone. Oh, the small ones are gone too, apparently. Those are metal coated, I, or like grey metal coated, I can't destroy them.
As you can see, the super shot is really good. It's worth uh, trying to max it out. I would need six. I'll, actually, I'll save to max it out. this way to get to the big turtle got distracted wait no this way there we go So I can't move from there, I can turn, I can shoot, uh, but I cannot move. really go and get it, but uh, now we know it's there. <laughs> That's the way back towards the village. Oh. I didn't remember that one. How many do I have? Because I might be able to get more upgrades at the bug guy. I have four. I can buy... Eh. I'll get more. I, I think I'll do the dungeon first. And once the dungeon is done, maybe I'll go back to... So it took me a while to understand how to get to this button, because it looks like it's too far for the dodge. Um... It's not. The, you, you can dodge to it. You just have to be not pixel perfect, uh, obviously, as you could see, but you have to wait up to the la almost last moment. Make it. Uh, yeah, let's go into the dungeon.
wrong one. Uh, yeah, I don't remember all the dungeons, all the, the, the things. So I know there's only one button that is uh, good. I don't know which one. So I'm gonna try all of them. So that was also the wrong one. Oh, that was the correct one. Uh, I'm still gonna press on the other one because it's gonna give me more enemies. So more experience. Uh, obviously you don't want to press all the buttons at the same time because then it's a whole lot of a mess. this way, so I'll have to find another way. Maybe up there? Maybe not. I stop face planting in the enemy ships, that would be good. Uh, talking to my brain, by the way. Okay, I think the snipers are gonna be worse. And it's not over, and I go back right into it. Remember that the uh, black bullets do uh, two hearts of damage, so... I need one more point before I upgrade. If I could avoid taking stupid damage at the beginning, like I did last time, it would help. And if the bullets could stop going around the enemy and actually hit them, it would also help. Even if I aim well enough, like there's a little... Um, like homing effect, which that you have it no matter which targeting mode you chose. Like even if you're in full manual, you have that. But because of that, sometimes you sh like the bullets do weird patterns on the enemies, especially when the enemies move in circle around you. I like being able to change my build in the middle of a fight if I want to. This is super cool. 
Alright, so all that was for a key. Which I can use here, I think. Yeah. Let's go this way. Let's see what's here, because I don't remember. Looks like a fight. I forgot that the bullets come back to the enemies. Why did I think that I could avoid it by going in the same direction as it? Hello, Jaden. I hope that you're doing well today. Uh, I'm in the third dungeon, as you can see. I don't know if we've seen this type of um, puzzle before, but you have to basically go fast enough to light up all the torches before the time runs out. How's the shipping going? Uh, it's going well. It's going well.
Alright, we're about to acquire the final major exploration ability. And then I'll be able to explore pretty much everything. And as you may have guessed it from the amount of water all around us, I just learned how to surf. So I can now uh, zoom on water. This enemy followed me all the way here. You also go faster on water for some reason, not sure why. Extra battery will be nice. Oh, the good experience now and then? Oh, I guess they do. Sometimes. Alright, I've explored this. I hate when they turn around you like that. There's nothing else really. Uh, another thing to know is you cannot do the uh, dodge on, like the dodging dash on water. I I'll show you it on the tomorrow. I'll just defeat this guy first. Uh, so, this dash there, uh, I cannot do that on water. If I press on the button, nothing happens. So that's the thing you have to take into account, because in fights, uh, if you have to fight on water, you cannot dodge. Like I just tried to do there. Because I forget myself how the game works, even though I just explained it five seconds ago. Who's shooting at me? 
I don't know. Here, a little bug. One more, and I can afford two upgrades at the um, bug shop. <laughs> Whatever that is, the the bug collector. Uh, there is no ability to. Uh, fly above the um, the abyss or like the holes in the, the ground the water is the best you get and then it's not even deep water because you have normal water and you have deep water and you still can't go in deep water even with soap Back here. And that, if you remember, I talked about it, that's one shot no matter what, uh, these like purple thing. You don't want to touch them. Uh, the control on water is a little bit more slippery, so you also want to be careful, because even if, I, if you stop tilting the stick in the direction, the ship keeps going in that direction a little bit. Now, what's the next upgrade I want? Either range or damage. I think I want to go for range. But for now... Uh, it is time to end this episode, so as I collect this piece of heart, I thank you so much YouTube for watching. Uh, I hope that you will have a good day, a good evening, or a good night, depending on when you see this. And I will see you soon, uh, in a few days, for another episode of this uh, mini-shoot adventures. Alright, bye guys.